Welcome back to Jelly Paradox. I love the running animation in this suit. Responding to certain types of brain waves emitted by us animals, and they have some kind of telepathy network to exchange information between themselves. Have you noticed the gigantic wave motions breaking out inside the ship? Wave motions? Yes. It's a signal for them to mutate or upgrade to a different type. We've raised the power of the electromagnetic shield on this one. That's why the wave motion can't reach it. And that accounts for the difference in its shape. Mayong even gave this one a name. He calls it Jala. <laughs> Personally, I think he's out of his mind. Is it the Organelle that have been sending out the wave motions? No, no, they're entirely too small. In the course of my research, I discovered that it requires a vehicle to perform as a server to handle that much program. And it must be nearby. You mean the server is somewhere in this ship? Yes. I intend to find it with the probe machine. Patty is getting it ready right now. Anyway, it's amazing that you've been able to capture the organelle. These two were not captured. What do you mean? Thirty-nine men were sacrificed for these two substances. What? I can't believe it. It was necessary. It's the only way for us to complete our research. Nash, we need you. The probe is ready. Thank you, Doctor. I'm on my way. So how's it going? You came just in time. We're almost at the launching stage. Good heavens! What the devil? All right, let's take it in from there. This is the launching area.
It's pretty big. Darn it! Doctor, it's cut off. That's it. It must be the server. It's coming. This is it! Here it comes! Doctor, the defense line has been broken through! How is that possible? We've reached our limit! This is it! Run! Doctor, it's not responding. The sensor is not reacting. What does this mean? It means the sensor doesn't work anymore. Doctor, there's no time left. Patty, we've got to get out of here. It's not safe. You're right. We're shutting down the lab. Go to CIC. Shutting it down? No. Doctor, you can't do that. What are we going to do with all the data? We can only take what's necessary. You don't understand. Everything is necessary. Nash, don't! Mayong, get me that bag. I've got it, Patty. Ah, uh, why did she do that? Now we need to run, I guess? Get to see, I see. That's not the way. Or is it? No, that's not the way. There's all this dramatic tension. We need to run, get to CIC. And then you're just left completely alone to wander hallways. <laughs> person hasn't even left. They didn't get the memo. Please wait one moment. What's going to come up behind me? Please wait one moment. <sighs> Ooh. Yes? Please wait one... Ah! Let's not wait one moment. No good. What's this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty then, I guess that's not where we go. Oh, I love it, you just go into the wrong spot and then you just get shot by a laser and die. Is there normally a laser that just shoots people in there? Well, this is where I started. Wait, what was that? I saw something pop up. This. What's that? Did I do something? Maybe I turned off the laser that murders me? When you walk into the room? I 
guess I'll try it again. Oh, nice. The Gator, were you able to stop it? Isla, where's Nash? I see. Come on, we gotta go. Not a single piece of rope anywhere. We'll have to jump. It's the only way. What? You've got to be kidding. I'll try and see if it works. Uh. <laughs> it's all right. It looks like it'll hold. Come on. You clearly could not possibly jump over that Come gap. On, doctor, you can do it. But I guess her like lab robe just My young, you go made first. her float. Please. Go on, hurry. They're coming. Then you'll jump right after me, okay? It's your turn! You two go ahead without me! I can't do it! Yes, you can! I know you can! Come on! You'll be alright! I'll catch you! We're running out of time, Patty! Jump! Alright, alright, I'll try! But just make sure you catch me! this here I come dang it cliffhanger back to Jude Even now. You'll be all right, Lieutenant. I thought both the doctor and Mei Li were all right. Yuma, at what point do you start trusting other people? I keep thinking it would be nice if everyone's brain was linked together. Then we would understand each other and there'd be no anxiety. We'd be like computers. We'd have no anxiety, but there'd be no joy either. We're close to the housing Deep. zone. There may be other survivors here, but there also may be more of those things. Terrific. Come on, let's go. I'll 
go in and check it out. I want you to wait here. Right. Nice little groovy background music. Looks like a game room. <laughs> this is the future in space and it's... This game room is just stuff we normally have today, like air hockey, but just with like LEDs and lights and stuff. Okay, well, it seems to be safe. Do I just go back out? It's all right, the coast is clear. I want you to go inside and wait for me, okay? Why? Why can't I come with you? The risk will be doubled if we move together. I'm going to check out the other floors. I'll be right back. If anything happens to me, you head for the shelter. Now listen, don't let your guard down. She hasn't been so good about, about staying put in the past. She'll probably run past me in about 10 seconds. The housing zone is just up ahead. I want to look for any surviving crew before we go to the lab. Good idea. The more the merrier. I agree. We can't be the only ones who have made it this far. With any luck, we should be able to find someone between here and the lab. If we get more allies like that young lady, it'd be very encouraging. What? You mean I won't do? No, I didn't mean that. I mean, since there's no one like you, Captain. Mm-hmm. Please get eaten by an alien. Or turn into an alien because you're obviously infected so that I can shoot you. <laughs> A little hop. Alright, I want you two to go into the bar first. It'll be easy to take cover in there if you run into any trouble. But what if we get attacked? The risk is the same all over. We're easy prey at any rate, since there's only three of us. Make sure you keep an eye on her. Just stick by me, kid. You'll be fine. Massimo, what's the matter? Well, it's nothing. Last time the doctor said it was nothing, they turned into a, a an impregnated one, as I guess the term might be. We've heard that once. I'm just gonna say infected. Um, they turn into an infected one very, very, very shortly afterwards.
the seating. Funky. Also, I don't think there's any point in coming in here. So. Sure. Oh, are they going to meet up? music. Presenting me with these options. Hope I'm not going down a wrong path. It's empty. Looks like there's no one here either. I don't think we're alone. There must be other survivors. We can't be the only ones left. Like it or not, we may have to face the fact there are no other people on this ship. If there are, we can't just leave them. I understand how you feel, Isla, but it can't be helped. Let's think positive about this. Wait a minute, what's going on? What is this? Somebody call a meeting and forget to tell me? Aren't you guys from the bio lab? What are you doing here? 
Don't shoot! Please! We're human! We are not Vajas! Vajas? What are you talking about? Tanya, it's me! What are you doing? Isla, I'm sorry. Put your weapons down! We are not armed! We can't hurt you! Why doesn't everyone just calm down and put those guns away, okay? I don't remember telling you you could put your hands down. That's enough. We don't have time for this nonsense. Since we have no way of determining who's a Faj and who isn't, we're just gonna have to trust each other. You keep saying Faj. You mean the ones who've been infected with that disease? Listen to me. It is not a disease. Stay where you are! Sergeant, wait a minute. We were headed to the bio lab, and these are the research team members. If they're here, maybe we should find out why. They must have some information that can help us. No, well, we should just kill talking. them. I'll tell you what we found out so far. Do you know what you're saying? All right, but if you make one false move, it'll be the last thing you ever do. <sighs> it's all right, put the gun down. There are still a great many factors we're not aware of. I don't understand, Doctor. What about the lab? Why did you leave? I'm sorry to tell you this, but the biolab's gone. You mean, they destroyed it? You gotta be kidding me! What else can go wrong? How are we supposed to figure out a way to destroy them now? That's why we decided to go to CIC where it's safe. Then I can use the ship's computer to make a simulation. Doctor, CIC has been wiped out. That can't be. Are you telling me that even the CIC sphere couldn't ward off the organelle? And we haven't got a shuttle either. It was blown up by a phage. These phages have eliminated so many of our people. But that thing glowing like a heat wave is much more dangerous than a phage. Nothing works on it, not even our guns. What are you talking about? You mean you haven't seen one yet? I don't know which way you guys took, but you lucked out. The thing you saw, what did it look like? Well, the first one we saw was yellow, and that one went down easy. Then the next one was green. That put up a bit more of a fight, but this last one was red, and the red one was the toughest. And I'm sure it's gotten a lot tougher by now. What are you talking about, Doctor? Yeah, why don't you fill us in? They're called Organelle. Or organelle Mm-hmm. My young, let me. Go on, please, continue. They penetrated the ship by getting mixed in with the shockwave from the 220 explosion. Does it have some connection with the 220 itself? There was something terribly unnatural about that planet. Well, how much have you figured out? Is it possible to destroy all of them? I want all of you to take a look at this. I've used the data we gathered to create this simulation. That's beautiful, Doctor, but the whole thing is just Greek to me. Now, what we understand so far is that the alien planet substance that penetrated from 220 is searching for a receptor. The organisms that attacked the sergeant and the others were testing if they could be their receptor. What? No wonder I survived. I haven't passed a test in years. And the ones who couldn't be their receptor <laughs> turned into Faja. They appear as though they were alive, but they are what? no longer human beings. So you're telling me that those phages were the crazy guys we saw, and that they're not infected by a virus at all? Their organism has some features similar to a virus. They have an antibody resistance to any attacking substance. Have you noticed the wave motion outbreak inside the ship? Yeah, I thought that was the warning signal from the power reactor. It's not. It's the signal for them to mutate into a stronger form. This just keeps getting better and better. Just before we left the lab, we discovered the server that sends out the signal. It's in the launching area, and it's big, over 10 meters. Holy moly! With the explosion of 220, <laughs> the server penetrated the gallant and secured itself in the launching area. 
And that was how all of this began. <laughs> oh, so that explains the severe damage to that side of the ship. You were saying that they search for a receptor. Well, what if they find it? What will become of the organelle after that? To be honest, we just don't know yet. There is a definite lack of data on the receptor. If we had enough data, I could create a simulation. If an organelle finds it, what do you think this receptor will look like? If the impregnation is successful, it would not turn into a phage. There would be no apparent physical change at all. In any case, the receptor would not be attacked by either organelle or phages. Captain Misho. Misho, you mean the Strega pilot who made it back alive? Yeah, she's in the medical center. She wasn't injured, but she was in a coma when we found her. We tried to resuscitate her, but the system broke down. I see. I think it's worth looking into, and there's only one way to find out. Yes, Captain Misho may be the key. Doctor, is this receptor no longer human? I mean, can it ever revert back to its original state? Well, at this stage of our research, we know that a phage can never revert back to a human being. Most likely, it's the same with the receptor. Right. I understand. Doctor? Yes. Do you have a question? Does a person know whether or not they've been turned into a phage? Are there any symptoms? No. The memory of just before or right after the impregnation will be wiped out. And when the transition to Fage is complete, the person is dead as a human being. That's terrible. I knew it! I knew it was unnatural for anyone to survive their attack. Wait a minute! What is this? Tanya! What do you think you're doing? I'm doing this for everyone, Isla. There's no way he could have survived under those circumstances. Hey, wait a minute! What are you saying? Shoot him! Would Shoot someone him! Please explain this to me. That attack wiped out the entire Wyvern team. Only the sergeant survived. Sergeant, if you were the only one to make it out alive, then you could be a Fudge. So, what do you want me to do about this, Lieutenant? For now, hand over the gun. Not that it'll make a difference. The Wyvern are lethal even with their bare hands. But it'll do for a start. What are you saying to me? Sergeant, hand it over! You're not serious, are you? Just tell me, what am I supposed to do without a gun? I'll protect you. I'll protect you. Captain! Another Wyburn! The Captain and I moved separately. Captain, you don't understand what's going on. We think the Sergeant may develop the symptoms. Everyone, please! We have no time for this kind of dissension! Dissension? Captain, he can't be trusted. You've got to believe me! Hmm... Yes. You got a lot of nerve pointing that gun at me. Captain, please. I am asking you to lower your weapon. You're not my commanding officer, so don't tell me what to do. Who do you think you're talking to? Captain, for now I think it's best to let the DAC Lieutenant have his way. It's no big deal. It's your call, Massimo. Here, Lieutenant. Take it.
Interesting. I'm guessing that shoot or don't shoot. Shoot. Lieutenant, what are you doing? Wait, you're making a mistake. Yeah. No. No, please. What was be. that? Is he a robot? You did this. You did it all. He was like all. sparking. Oh no! Then the sergeant was. Uh. Dark ending. All right, let him point the gun. Very well, sir. I'll do it. Tanya, put the gun down. That won't do us any good right now. You heard the captain. Put it down. I'm sorry. I can't comply with you. Now, oh, disarm oh, I went, the sergeant. I went back further than I thought. This is back to the option before Ensign, the option that I most down. recently chose. You saw those Faj with your own eyes. You fought them. You know how horrifying they are. We can't be sure whether or not the sergeant will turn into one of them. You're wrong, Captain. Listen to me, Tanya. We've got to remain calm. Just stop worrying and put down the gun. All right, I said all right. Everyone just take it easy. I'll hand over my gun. Massimo. Are you sure? Captain, it's my decision. All right, Sergeant. If you think that's best. Okay, seems like that leads to the same thing. Lieutenant, I surrender my gun to you. Here, take it. Does that make you feel any better? This time, let him do it. Uh, Massimo! Uh, Lieutenant! Yes? Shoot her? Gun. Okay, so what was the other option? Like, what would have happened? Don't! Oh, wait, that was to shoot him? Still? Is that what just happened? Why did you shoot him? Huh? Oh! No! <laughs> Oh! Oh! 
Uh, Isla! Uh. Back to this reality. Ah, my own Tanya, don't. Captain, look out. Tanya. Phew, nice gun. Your reputation doesn't do you justice. That's the last time I fall for a pretty face. Are you okay? It's just a scratch. He'll be alright. Well, what do we do now? Any suggestions? We should all go to the medical center from here. We need to confirm if Captain Misho is the receptor or not. Since our weapons won't work on the organelle anymore, I'll go to the weapons maintenance room and try to find a more powerful gun. Captain, may I take the sergeant? Yes. Massimo, go with him. Roger that. I'll escort the doctor and the others to the medical center. We'll need to fix the support system. The unit is damaged. It has to be replaced. The serial number? 205A. I'm pretty sure there's a spare in the medical tool storage room. Lieutenant, what do we do after we bring back the weapons? Once I'm certain the doctor and the others have enough firepower, I'm going to the launching area. The launching area? That's where the source of our trouble is supposed to be. With the sergeant's help, I'm gonna wipe out the thing that caused all of this. I'm gonna destroy the server. Okay, I get it. And it's all settled. Oh, I get to choose who I want to play as now. Interesting. Um, I would just like to point out... What is with that pose? You okay? I just want to point out, it seems like every single person there just... basically shrugged off killing that person, and also every single person seems to have forgotten that Myung was shot in the arm, including Myung themselves. I'm pretty sure that laser beam puts a hole clean through your skin, so I think you'd be in incredible pain and probably bleeding quite a bit, but nobody cares. Anyway, I think it's a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to play as either Jude, Renee, or Isla. <laughs>